This is the story of a hospital, but it's not a medical story. It's a story of will and the power of the human spirit. At the dawning of the 20th century, women and medicine had a very conflicting relationship. The few female doctors who managed to study medicine, like Dr. Emily Stowe and Dr. Jenny Kidd Trout, found that they were objects of scorn and ridicule by their fellow male colleagues. The simple fact was clear. If women were going to enter the world of medicine, they were going to have to change the world of medicine. And so, with no school or hospital allowing them to study or practice, they opened their own. In the autumn of 1911, the Women's College Hospital and Dispensary became a reality. With just seven ward beds, this humble institution had a mandate that was as simple as it was revolutionary. To provide for women medical and surgical care by physicians and surgeons of their own sex. With progress came the need for growth, and by the summer of 1915, the hospital was officially relocated to Rush Home Road. And then in 1921, it was decided that a new, modern hospital should be built. It would take 15 years and fundraising through the Great Depression, but once again, the women of Toronto would not be dissuaded. The hospital that opened on Grenville Street in 1936 was modern indeed. 10 stories, 140 beds, a 45-cot nursery, and two entire floors dedicated to operating and obstetrics. And in the 75 years since, there has been growth and expansion. Each new wing met with great enthusiasm and celebration. And naturally, the first hospital to allow women to practice medicine soon became the home to many more firsts. And of course this hospital of first could not have thrived without the countless pioneering doctors who have become known the world over. Doctors like Marion Hilliard, Ricky Caney Schachter, Henrietta Banting, and Stephen Nayrod, who has become the most cited scientist in the world in the field of breast cancer, to name but a few. And now a new chapter has begun, only this time it is not being written by the hospital, it is being written by the women who rely on it. In planning the new, state-of-the-art Women's College Hospital, a thousand women from different backgrounds were interviewed and their responses directly informed its design. Now you have a chance to add your page to this story. When you donate to the new Women's College Hospital, you are investing in the future of health care for all women and their families. And you are proving that the power of the human spirit is capable of anything.